everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I'm sitting cockeyed in my chair because I have a dog that does not want to share. Okay, yeah, okay, there's Gidget. <laughs> she saw me setting up to film and immediately jumped into the chair and then made herself comfortable um, so that I couldn't, yes, get comfortable. There we go. Okay, <laughs> let's get situated. All right, so we are approaching the holiday season at a rapidly fast pace. Um, and today I have a roundup of my top five PJ patterns um, that I really enjoy. I don't know if you've been following along or not, um, but So Altered Style and um, I guess it's just So Altered Style has a challenge on Instagram and I think Facebook too. I'll leave a link down um, in the description box. I think they had a blog post on their um, site that you can read and get all the information. But they're doing a Sew Family Jammies challenge and um, that just means you're making matching pajamas for whoever you think of as your family. Um, it can be furry, furry family members. It can be, um, you know, different people and however you define family. It's just a really great challenge and a whole lot of fun. Um, anyway, I have made two different sets and so I want to share those with you, but I thought it might also be fun to share my top five favorite PJ patterns. Now these are five that I have personally made. There's a ton out there, um, especially, you know, there's a lot in the big four and that kind of thing, but I just wanted to share with you the top five that I have personally made and that I really enjoy. Okay, <laughs> so let's get started, and um, the first two patterns I actually don't have examples to show you, um, and I'll explain why as I get to them, um, and then at the end I will show you what I have done. I'll show you some pictures of, um, actually just of one of the Sew Family Jammies. I don't have pictures of one of them yet, because Christmas hasn't happened, but <laughs> anyway. Okay, pattern one is the Lakeside PJ set by Grain Line Studios. And I will pop a picture up here. This is a lovely little set. It has this gorgeous, um, just a cami t style top and shorts. It's just a really easy breezy um, pattern set. I actually made this quite a while ago. This is one of the first PJ patterns that I made for myself. Unfortunately, it died in the wash. Um, I'm normally a very careful laundress, <laughs> but you know, every now and again, things just slip in and it got massacred um, by some dye. So um, it is no longer with us, although I would love to make another set. It's actually a really great way to um, learn how to use bias binding because you bias bind the straps and all that kind of stuff in the edges, um, but it's a really fantastic pattern. Um, it's actually kind of similar-ish, yeah, kind of. Uh, Tilling the Buttons also has a set, but I'm not going to talk about that because I've never made that one. So anyway, <laughs> before I get too uh, distracted. But yes, Lakeside Pajama Set, it is fantastic. And if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, you're coming into warmer weather. Um, I prefer usually to be colder when I sleep because I like to sleep with a ton of um, blankets on top of me. So a lot of times, even in the winter, I will sleep in sleeveless wear, stuff like this. Um, just because I, I can regulate my body temperature by putting an arm out and that kind of thing a lot easier because I do like to sleep under a lot of layers, as does my husband. So it is a fantastic pattern, and once again, it's grain line, and so the instructions are just on point and just perfection. So a really good PJ set for yourself, or if you're feeling ambitious before we hit the holiday season, to make for yourself and a couple of family members. All right, pattern two is the Reef Pajama Set by Megan Nielsen Patterns. Also a lovely little um, summery set um, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere or if you're just like me and like to be um, able to regulate your body temperature. It's another um, top and bottom set. There's little shorts with a um, sleeveless top. Now, I also made this and I made it for a family vacation that we had not last year, but the summer before, um, just because I wanted to have a, a PJ set that I could, you know, put a robe on and be somewhat decent because we were sharing a house with my sister and her family and my parents. Um, and we do do a lot of traveling, especially back to Missouri to visit family. Um, and we're staying in other people's homes. So I like to have pajama sets that, um, you know, I don't have to get dressed for the day when I first wake up, but I'm still decent. <laughs> I don't want to be the weird aunt that's walking around in, in decent sleepwear. So... <laughs> So I really enjoy a good pajama set for that. So anyway, I made the Reef pajama set and my husband ripped it. And before your minds go into the gutter, um, it has that gorgeous little V there in the front. It has a really cute yoke detail with the crossover um, 
back, excuse my eye, uh, it's really cute. Now, I do need to do a full bust adjustment on this one. I mean, it's a pajama set. Is it that big of a deal? But I think that it would just be much more comfortable on the top if I did do an FBA um, and just added a dart in there, um, which, I mean, they're pajamas. I don't sleep in a bra, so a dart is can be a tricky thing with pajamas. <laughs> Because you never know where they're going to be. Where does the apex need to be? We don't know. Um, but anyway, we've got the beautiful v, v on that, which is I love. My husband and I met in college. And so every now and again, so that was the, the our relationship in its infancy was him in a fraternity and me in a sorority. And we went to a small college, which was a very different Greek life than like a big university. But anyway, um, a lot of times he reverts back to those tactics. And it was a moment of him just being silly and he was grabbing me to tickle wrestle that kind of thing and his hand got caught on the edge of that and you clip you know for any v-neck you clip in there so that you can get a nice um it to lay nicely at the v <coughs> excuse me anyway his it ripped he literally it pulled and i had made it out of a, a cotton lawn actually it's more of a cotton voile so it was a kind of a, a loose fabric and right there at that stitching it just it ripped like really like just right down the center it just it just ripped which is unfortunate but I would love to have another set and probably for um, next summer would be a fantastic one to make so definitely recommend that one and again there's gonna be links to all these patterns down below um, I think there's just one that I have an affiliate link for and I will tell you when it comes but I'll have it um, marked in the description box as well all right for these last three I do have examples for you. So the next one is the Carolyn Pajamas by Closet Case Patterns. I'm sure if you've been around the independent pattern scene for any amount of time, you're familiar with Closet Case Patterns and also familiar with the Carolyn Pajamas. They come in a long sleeve top or a short sleeve top and then shorts or pants. And I have made everything but the pants. So first I'm going to show you, um, I have a long sleeve top. Now I actually made this one and I wear it as a blouse. And you guys have seen me wear this before. So this is the Carolyn Pajama Top. Um, silk PJ Tops are, were really, really in a couple of years ago. And you still see them out on the street. Um, I mean, you'll see people actually wearing, like, the fancy pajamas where it's actually the, the top and the bottom. And they'll have it with heels and stuff wearing it out. I don't go that far. But I do wear this one with jeans. And I love it because it does look like a P I mean, it is a PJ Top. But it's like the menswear-inspired PJ Top. I made mine out of a four-ply silk, which is extremely luxurious. <laughs> But I had bought it for a different project that never happened and thought, you know what, why not? It's a gorgeous color and it's a, I mean, it's a standard blouse. So if it fits me correctly, like I'll wear this for a long time. Um, so yes, and I even piped it in a silk. Um, I have actual piping in this one, like there, it's filled piping um, with cotton cord. But I used silk for that as well, for the white piping. Um, and again, I love this shirt. I have little pale blue buttons on there. I love this shirt. I wear it a ton. So this is one way you can take PJ wear and wear it in every day. I do not sleep in this. This is completely for out of, you know, wearing around for the day. And then I've also made the shorts and short sleeve version. This also gets taken when we're on vacations. So here's the cute little shorts. I did the faux piping on these, I guess, flat piping. It's just bias tape that I had folded in half, so single fold bias tape that I um, snuck into the seams and I used kind of a, um, a denim. This is Liberty Tonalon. It is the Isle of White, I believe, is the name of this um, print. And uh, yeah, so again, I've got the, um, it's just like a chambray shirting basically for the piping. It was left over from another project. And then here is the little short sleeve top that goes with it. So these get worn a ton. Again, it's ton of lawn, so it feels like heaven when you've got it on. It's perfect for the summer. Um, and I would love to make a, a long shirt and um, long pants and flannel, I think, at some point. Now, these are kind of an involved make. Um, I would not try and make multiple sets of these before Christmas. That would be a lot. <laughs> but if you want to dig into like a, a fun project that's just for you, um, because it is PJs, but still, why not feel good and be comfortable when you're in your pajamas? Um, so I love this set. Um, yeah, I wear this one a lot when we're traveling, um, especially because it looks very much put together. So yes, definitely the Carolyn pajamas. They are a fantastic pattern and they fit great. All right, for 
pattern number four. Okay, now we're getting into the Sew Family Jammies um, stuff. Okay, so this set I don't have pictures for yet because my kids have been wearing them, but I just I wanted to get a picture of them in front of the tree, which probably won't happen until Christmas. I'll be sure and show you a picture, or it'll definitely be on Instagram. So my fourth pattern for you guys is the Hudson Pants by True Bias Patterns. I have talked about this a ton. They have a um, pattern for women, men, and kids. So you really can go hog wild, especially if you're doing um, sew family jammies and making them for a whole bunch of different people. Um, and they pair really well just with a, a t-shirt. Um, I've made my son a pair, and this is the um, some of the Doodles fabric from Joann's. This is my first time sewing with the Doodles fabric, and it feels lovely. I mean, it's a cotton interlock. Um, the recovery on it is not great. Um, it's okay. It's not great. So I would not do anything super form-fitting um, with the Doodles, but it got, comes in some adorable prints. So, like, loose-fitting little girls' dresses, um, just things... Or if you are going to do a fitted top, I would definitely not use this fabric for the um, like neckline binding or cuffs. I would definitely get some ribbing. And that is what, this is ribbing from Joann's as well. Um, it is their one by one ribbing, just a cotton, um, I think it's cotton spandex, but a one by one ribbing and it's meant for um, the ribbing. So I've used it on the pockets there. My son loves these pants. And then also on the hem, um, this is the men's size... Uh, 28 but my son actually has a 26 inch waist so I had to gather in the waist so so much I don't know what we're gonna do he's in a boy's 16 right now and they just fit in length just barely um I mean if he grows any more they're gonna be too short but he has a 26 inch waist and the smallest men's waistband is a 28 and two inches is a big deal so I have no I mean Right now, even in a 16, it's huge in the waist, but they have the elastic um, tighteners, you know, in the waist because they're still boys' jeans, and he has them pulled, like, as tight as they can go. They look ridiculous at the top. Uh, he will wear a belt with them, you know, but still, it's so cinched in at the waist, uh, so, like, gathered around that area, and um, I don't know what we're going to do when he goes into men's. I mean, I really... Making jeans for my teenage son does not sound all that appealing just because he is, like, he's in his growing stage right now. He's doing some, like, hefty-duty growing. Um, my daughter has kind of leveled out a little bit, but oh my gosh. Anyway, he's a 26-inch waist. So 26-inch waist, 30-inch inseam. <laughs> so anyway, we have made these. They, in fact, it almost distorts the pants when he has them on, but he loves these things, and he has been wearing them. And this is the Christmas sloth pattern with the doodles. Loves them. So that is pattern number four. Highly recommend them. They're great lounge pants. Um, and actually, on next Tuesday's video, I'm going to show you all the Christmas gifts I've sewn up. And you're going to see these again. And um, I'm, I really love this pattern. It's easy, it's quick, and it's stylish. Um, and very easy to wear. So that is his. And that is one part of the Sew Family Jammies for him. And then my fifth pattern for you is the Namaste PJ set by Love Notions Patterns. This one is excuse me, an affiliate link. They have a women's pattern and a girl's pattern, so you can make the whole gamut. I have made both the women's and the girls because I will talk about that in a second. But um, for my daughter's matching to his Hudson pants, I made her the long sleeve nightgown. Now this pattern comes with um, a nightgown with longer short sleeves. It comes with just a shirt, which you could do with the longer short sleeves, and then it comes with shorts and pants. So you could do a two-piece set or nightgown. Um, pretty much the consensus with my daughter was she just wanted nightgowns, and so I made this for her in the nightgown. Again, it's the doodles with that same ribbing, um, and so it's got this cute little crossover detail here at the here at the wrist, where it kind of crosses over. Um, I shorten it by two inches. I make her the women's extra small, and it fits her lovely, and it's just really cute on. So they have this matching set, and I will get a picture of them in front of the tree on Christmas morning, and I will post that. Um, but this is one entry for my Sew Family Jammies for the two of them. They're matching PJs. And then my last entry for Sew Family Jammies, this is also the Namaste, so I, I made a few of these. Actually, I made a lot of these. I made in this wonderful um, knit, cotton knit from... Um, uh, girl Charlie, <laughs> the I made Namaste nightgowns again, the long sleeved, and the long sleeve nightgowns, the only thing I've made of the Namaste pattern. 
Um, and I just used rayon jersey from Joann's that I had in my, you know, stash. It was some scraps for the binding um, and for the sleeves. And I made five of these. I made one for myself and my daughter, one for my sister and my niece. And I'll pop a picture of my sister and niece. I got a really cute picture of them when we were taking these photos. Um, and I made one for my mother. So I made five in this fabric, one for my daughter. So I've made six of these Namaste. <laughs> be um nightgowns and they are fantastic and I cannot wait to try um the two-piece sets I think that's going to be a lot of fun for summer um this is a knit pattern you're supposed to use knits for this and it is just I mean it's so flattering in fact my sister said that she was having a hard time getting my niece out of it like when, when I gave it to her um and she's very particular about what she wears it's just a very nice soft knit the style of it's really beautiful. My mom's already ordered um, one for the summer that she wants with um, short sleeves and she'd like a matching robe. <laughs> She's already putting in orders. Um, so it is a fantastic PJ pattern and she wants another nightgown. Um, and I think my sister was possibly interested in a shirt and short set for summer as well. Um, she has like a high-end designer-ish, uh, a very nice set of pajamas that are very similar with the crossover wrap top um, and shorts. And I think she would like another one, which I could very easily do. So I will post a picture too of um, all of us for our photo shoot, all five of us in our matching nightgowns. We had fun um, shooting this picture. And so you can kind of see us all in our nightgowns. So there you have it. If you are feeling ambitious and want to make some, or even just wait till the new year and just make yourself some new pajamas, um, you know, slowing down sewing a little bit. Um, although again, the Carolyn pajamas are um, a little more, I mean, they're not hard. They're just more steps. Like they're just a little more involved. Um, the other ones are a little easier, a little quicker makes. Um, but yeah, those are five that I have tried and that I have been very impressed with and loved very much. So there you have it. Okay, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week up until Christmas. It's getting close. Um, I will see you guys on Friday with um, another installment of my fabric haul from my mentor. And then Sunday, I'm actually in the throes right now of filming the McCall's 8011 Sew Along that I'm making out of the thrifted men's coat. And the first video of that sew along will go up on Sunday. So that's what we have to look forward to. I hope you guys have a great week. Don't uh, try and get some sewing in to help calm. You know, we're kind of getting into the anxiety ridden part right before Christmas. Don't let it get you down. Enjoy the season. Take some time for yourself. Do some sewing, some deep breaths. It will be okay. The world will not stop spinning. If you don't, you know, get everything finished, it will be fine. Okay, pep talk for the day. I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.